Let's go to Pauline Hanson. And no wonder in the poll today, the level of One Nation support has increased significantly. If those in the media and in government would only listen, Pauline Hanson is always talking about the things that they are talking about in the pub, the things that matter to people, not the rubbish that goes on there in government. Pauline joins me. Pauline, thank you for your time. The summit is over. What changes today do we see as a result of the summit? Well, Alan, I can't see any changes whatsoever. It was a talk fest to, to talk up the unions and the Labor Party. I don't see what they have achieved anything there at all. What they spoke about and putting money into the TAFE colleges, I totally agree with that. We should have, and I've been speaking about that for years, to actually open up the TAFE colleges for those kids, especially in rural and regional areas. I'd like to see agricultural colleges also opened up. But it's very important that we do that. They have announced also, now that's what I've been talking about, TAFE colleges. I've also spoken about the pensioners being able to work. That's what Albanese announced. I spoke about that well before the last election. Pensioners, aged pensioners should be able to work. But I wouldn't put a limit on it, Alan. Let them work. Let them go and earn whatever they have. They've mm. worked all their life. Mm. They have entitled to the aged pension. Mm. Let them work as much as I've they want to. I've made that point here many times. I've made that point many times. Let them work and keep their pension. And they're reliable. They're yeah. experienced. They're, you know, you can, you, they, won't, they won't be lying in bed in the morning. And it's very good for them and good for the nation. And why? That could have been done today. That could have been done, couldn't it, with a stroke of a pen today? Yeah. <clears throat> so it's it's. I'm pleased to see that Peter Dutton's taken it up. It's been my policy. I've been pushing for it for the last six months, and I, it's good to see. The whole thing about the the talk fest is about the business council is agreeing with the unions to bring workers in from overseas. Alan, that won't cut it for the people here. The people here are lining up for. You know, nursing homes, schools, healthcare, hospitals, doctors, the whole rest of it. If you're on a good income, you can afford it. You've got those connections. You can go and get what you want. But the average person out there has to struggle to get these services. It is not going to um, answer their concerns when you're going to bring in over 200,000 people into the country, migrants. We don't have an, the infrastructure, the water, the housing the nursing homes, everything to provide for them. So I think this is a big mistake, but big business are pushing for it because they're going to sell more product That's right. and they're going to make more money out That's of it. Right. That's what it's and about. And we can't even accommodate this. We can't accommodate the Australians who are here. So, I mean, if we can't get accommodation with the Australians who are here and we're going to lift the permanent immigration intake, where do these people live? Where do the kids go to school? The congestion in the streets? Are they going to properly assimilate within the rest of the Australian community. I mean, just coming back to your other point, though, about participation of Australians already living here, I think was your words. Uh, with a stroke of a pen, coming back to these pensioners, you could allow pensioners into the workforce without their earnings affecting their pension. And that's common sense. They're skilled, experienced Correct. and reliable, aren't they? And there's thousands of them. I've got the older um, person working for me in my office, Ellen. I like the older person, late 60s, 70s, working in my office. I always have done, even in my fish and chip shop. I like the older worker. They're hard working, reliable. So you give me a uh, job? I think they're you give me a job? You got a job there for me? <laughs> uh, Alan, any time, mate. I think you'd cut it with me. No problem. 